Hello everyone, in this demo, we will see an exciting new feature in CloudSec 418 that is S zones. S zones are lightweight, low cost zones that are meant for deployment on edge computing scenarios. So let's dive into the demo. Uh, we already have uh, an environment running here. Uh, we can see we already have one zone listed here. So it is showing as type core. This feature introduces the concept of core zones and edge zones. All the existing zones that are meant for data center based deployments will be termed as core zones, while the uh, new zones that are meant for edge sites are termed as edge zones. Let's click on the edge zone option now. First, we get this uh, page to select uh, type of the zone. We can see core zones are intended for data center deployment and provide a full range of functionality and networking uh, options for s zones we, uh, they are lightweight zones and functionality will be limited but they are meant for a specific purpose we will select edge for now let's click next on next uh, page we get the option for adding details of the zone we can see some of the things related to a zone so it says only shared and l2 networks can be deployed and local storage will be enabled for both user vms and virtual routers for now they are supported only on kvm hypervisor so hypervisor has been selected as kvm let's name it as edge let's click on next for networking we can see we don't need to specify public uh, management or storage network and just need to input guest network details so for us this is fine we will click next we need to specify a vlan range in which guest networks will be deployed so let's click input that for resources we just need to specify host details and that's it other uh, infrastructure entities will be created by CloudStack itself so let's give it the detail here i have already created a kvm host with the uh, 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 CloudStack agent installed so let's provide detail for that With these minimum details, I am ready to launch my zone. Uh, let's click on launch. It will take some time. It will configure different parameters and networking bits. So let's wait. So my zone has been successfully created. I will enable it to deploy some virtual machines on it. Let's click enable. It is now showing in the list of zones. I can see type of both different zones has been showing correctly. I can see all the details of my zone here as well. I can see type is specified here as well. Uh, for primary storage, I can see uh, local storage for the host has been added. If I go into secondary storage section, I shouldn't be able to see any uh, secondary storage for my zone also for system vms uh, right now there won't be any system vms running for this particular type of zone so let's try to deploy a virtual machine for this zone uh, as this zone can deploy only on local storage i would need a local storage offering i have already created one uh, this particular offering supports the storage type local. I would need a direct download template because there is no shared storage. So I will create a template for add a template for my virtual machine. I will. For my zone, select hypervisor and format, mark it as direct download. And this is by course type.
right now i can uh, assume supports only uh, shared in l2 network so i can deploy uh, l2 network right now uh, but for shared network i would need a system vm template because it would need uh, vr to be running uh, for system vm template we need to register a system vm template that is direct download enabled so we will select current system vm templates url and register a new entry for system vm template for this particular zone as direct download template it is opening so template has been registered but we also need to specify its name in the zone settings so we'll go into our zone and its setting and specify the router template for kvm we will change this to our newly registered template so that's it now i can go on deploying new networks and vms on for my zone so i can see all the templates and offerings have been filtered for my zone and i would create a new network first let's create a vm with l2 network my vm is getting deployed for my zone it's in a starting state and it is running now so vm will run normally uh, just that few things that depend on shared storage won't be uh, showing or working so if we will try to view console for uh, vms on edge zone it will return an error right now uh, because cpm is not supported as of now so let's now try to deploy a shared network and a vm on it so let's select the zone let's create a network So my shared network is created now. I will select that network and try to deploy a VM using that. Just trying to launch the VM with my shared network. IP has already been acquired. VM is in a starting state. This will take some time. Uh, I can go into virtual router section and can see VR is also getting deployed for my shared network. I can see it is using the template that I registered for this particular zone. Once we, VR is running and then VM is running, my VM should work as normal and I can access it using the IP address for the VM. Let's wait for a while. VM seems to be 
it is still getting started it is running now so uh, as we can see we can deploy uh, virtual machines with both l2 and shared networks and they should work normally uh, more and more features will be added to uh, as zones in the uh, coming releases of cloud stack and if you have any uh, issues while uh, working with that zones you can report them in the community or the uh, github repository uh, that's it for now thank you for watching this demo thanks a lot